Five miles southeast of the highland capital of Inverness lies the battlefield of Culloden, seen in 1746 of the last major battle in Britain, a battle that decided which monarch was to rule the country. The clans rallied to Prince Charles's summons, but their bravery to the cause was not enough. On this moor, thousands lost their lives, men who bore the names carved to stand for centuries on these stones. The bitter defeat left far-reaching effects on Scotland. Today, Inverness is a place of pilgrimage. It's the place for the gathering of the clans. From all over the world, clansmen return to this place to secure the ties of their brotherhood, to meet their chiefs, such as Donald Cameron of Lochiel, and are thrilled to the skirl of the pipes and wonder at the skill and magnificent traditional dress of the proud drum majors. For those who have travelled thousands of miles to come home to Scotland, and even for those who have come a short distance, these are the sights that stir their hearts. Even for the young, the spirit of the Highland dance is already there. From Massachusetts, USA, the Worcester Kilty Pipe Band wearing the Scott tartan. Along with the pipes, Scotland's renowned for its muscle. The weight's 56 pounds, the bar is 12 feet 6 inches high. It takes real know-how to avoid calamity. The bands competed in the World Pipe Band Championship, but the music was the call to come home for the clansmen of Scotland.